Hi, my name is Kevin Mack. I'm the head instructor of Krav Maga Nation. This video is the first in a series in which I'm going to be going through the original Krav Maga curriculum from the 1980s. In 1981, my instructor, Alan Feldman, was trained in Israel by Emi Lichtenfeld, the founder, who is the founder of Krav Maga and his top students, in order to introduce Krav Maga to the United States. When he came home, he was presented with the curriculum to teach all the yellow belt to black belt. Um, I was trained under this curriculum alongside all the developments that were to come in the 90s and 2000s. Uh, if you're trained in other Krav organizations, you will see similarities between uh, curriculums, some of the basics. Sometimes people move things from yellow belt to orange belt, and then some things from like blue belt to green belt. We are going to be going through, starting at yellow belt for the very first, beginning the basics and then the punches. These aren't going to be teaching videos. I'm just going to kind of go through the list and show you the... Um, the techniques that match up to the descriptions. Um, later on, we'll go into more specific things. So, the first thing you learn in Yellow Belt, so these are the Krav Maga test requirements from Yellow Belt circa 1981, 1982. The first is the regular outlet stance. The regular outlet stance, or in my curriculum, we call it forward outlet stance, is feet shoulder, pit, shoulder width apart. Um, your right leg is back. Your left hand is forward, your right hand, so your left hand is over your left foot, your right hand is between your left hand and your rear shoulder. This is our fighting stance, but our outlet stance, all right? The second thing you learn is making the fist. You roll the fingers down, and you put your thumb in between the first two knuckles, and that is a closed fist punch. So we start now outlet stance with our hands open and our closed fist punches like so. All right, now punches. Straight left punch. So straight left punch, your punch comes out and it comes back. You bring your shoulder to your chin, not your chin to your shoulder. It's like you're diving into a pool. Don't flare out your elbows. So you make a fist and it rotates and you land with the first two knuckles and then it comes back. The next step is the straight right punch. So it's the same thing but the opposite hand. Because the hand is your rear hand, you have to turn your hip towards that lead foot. So the punch comes out, the shoulder protects the chin. So your left straight punch and then your right straight punch. The next one is the straight left right combination. So it's what I just did, left and right. When it's thrown as a combination though, you don't go one and then two. It's one and then as that one is halfway on its way back, the punch comes out. So it'll be left straight, right straight. All right, left straight, right straight, left right combination. Next one, shuffling forward with straight left punch. So the first punch I was in place, I could reach the person. So now I shuffle forward for that left straight punch. From here, I punch. The hand leads the movement. The hand goes out and the body comes with it. Shuffling forward with the straight right punch. Same thing, opposite side. Hand leads the movement. I shuffle forward with that straight punch. So I shuffle forward with that lead punch. Shuffle forward that right punch. Uh, shuffling forward, straight, right, left combinations. When it's a combination, the first movement is what brings you forward. All right? That left hand comes out and brings you forward, then the right comes out. Uh, shuffling backward for straight, left punch. When it's backward, it's the opposite. When you go forward, the hand leads the movement, the body comes with it. When you're going backwards, the body moves first and then the hand goes out. So I step back and extend that punch. Then the left roundhouse punch. So it's a left hook punch. Punch comes out and Krav Maga, we punch with our fist vertical, not horizontal. So that punch comes out and then it comes back. Lead leg pivoted. Right roundhouse punch. Same thing, rear hand. Chin is down, punch comes out. When you throw hook punches or roundhouse punches as it's listed on the, the sheet, um, my instructors say it's like a witch stirring a pot. It comes out, comes back down. Out, comes back down. Your hip pivots. Left uppercut punch, shoulder dips, uppercut punch comes out. Dip, shoulder comes, upper punch, uppercut punch comes out. You're hitting the chin, your hands are already at chin level, which is why you dip, protecting your chin. It comes up the center line. Dip up the center line. And all right, that's it. So you have eight basics and then all the basic punches. The next video will show the elbow blows. The video after that will be rolls.
Please subscribe to our channel, throw out a few likes on the videos you like, and if you want to support the channel, feel free to drop us a donation via PayPal, or you can support us on Patreon. Thank you.